Trying to decide which binocular you want to buy in today's world can be a little bit difficult. There are so many options in binoculars, but today I'm going to try and help you decide which binocular is best for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button. It'll notify you anytime that we upload a new video. So today we're going to talk binoculars. There are a ton of options when it comes to binoculars, regardless of whichever brand you want to use or you like to use. For us, being an affiliate of Vortex, we love to use Vortex, but even in the Vortex line, there are so many different options of binoculars. Which one should you buy? It's a great question. It's a question that I think anybody that's buying a new binocular really should ask. And so today I'm gonna to try and help you determine which binocular is best for you, which one you should buy. And a lot of it will depend on where you hunt, how much you wanna spend, there's a ton of different options that uh, that will come up, but I want to talk through a few and uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages of some of these binoculars. So to kick things off, I'm going to start with a 10 by 42 binocular. This is the Razer UHD 10 by 42 binoculars. I have absolutely loved these binoculars. They're the ones that stay in my bino harness all the time. They are absolutely fantastic. Let's talk through some of the details about these binoculars though. So the Razer UHD 10 by 42 binoculars. First thing we want to talk about is the price point. These are definitely the upper echelon for Vortex's line, but you'll find a similar price regardless of what brand you're looking at. And, and we're going to talk through a lot of the, of the different options that you have. You don't have to go to the very top of the line binocular. You can if you want, and I promise you if you do, you get better glass. But the MSRP on the UHD 10x42s is $2,149, so $2,150 basically. The thing that I really want to point out on these binoculars is the weight. So being a 10x42, they're going to be a little bit lighter than some of the other options. So weight, 32.4 ounces. That's actually a really lightweight binocular for what you're getting. You're getting really great glass, you're getting really great focus, you're getting a very well-built binocular, but only 32.4 ounces. So, I, like I said, this is what I have used and carried on my in my bino harness for most of my hunts. So normally when I'm hunting, like I said, I have my, my binoculars in my bino harness, and I will throw them on my quick release uh, bino adapter and I will glass with my 10 by 42s across the mountainside until I find something that intrigues me. Once I do, then I can throw my spotting scope on and really get a close look at that animal or whatever it is that I'm looking at. They also make the Razer UHDs in a 10 by 50. So a little bit bigger objective lens, not that much more, only $50 more for the bigger, lens, bigger objective. And you really don't gain too much weight here, 36.5 ounces. So for $50 more and just a little bit more weight, it may actually be worth it to you to go up to the 50 millimeter. Now let's take a second and talk about the big boys, the big daddies. So this is the Vortex UHD, or Razer UHD 18 by 56. So these are the glass that you're going to use to see a long ways. I use these on my hunts this year. This is the first year that I've actually used these and they pretty much stayed on the tripod most of the time. You can find bino harnesses that will fit a large um, binocular like these. In fact, the one that I use does fit these. I use the Horn, Horn Hunter um, Op X bino harness and it did fit these. I'll put a link below to that bino harness if you're interested in it, but they actually fit in it, but they're pretty heavy. And really when you're walking through the mountains, these are a little bit too much magnification for things that you're gonna be looking, looking at. I really recommend using these when you have that tripod that you can set up and look long distances. Honestly, I very rarely pulled out my spotting scope when I had these binoculars 
just because I could really see what I was looking at. I could make out the animal. I could make out how many points they had. Really, anything that I wanted to see, I could see with these. But there is a big downfall to these. So before I talk about the downfall of these binoculars, let's talk a little bit about the details. So this is the Razer, Razer UHD 18 by 56 so a little bit bigger objective. It's not just a 50, but it's a 56 objective. Obviously the 18 power, which is fantastic. Price point does go up uh, quite a bit to uh, $24.49, so roughly about $400 more than the 10 power binoculars. But let's come down here and we'll talk about the, the big issue. This thing is a whole 10 ounces bit heavier than the 10 power binocular, so 42 ounces. Ouch, that's a heavy binocular to be carrying around on your chest. That honestly is the, the biggest downfall to this, other than, like I said, they are large, and to get them to fit into a binocular harness is quite tough, but they do make them and, and you can do it. So if you're someone that wants a higher power binocular and always carry that around with you, this really would be the one to go with if you can deal with that weight. Again, 42 ounces, that's a pretty heavy binocular. And while we're comparing weight, I quickly wanna show you Razer, or Vortex does have the Razer UHD 8x42, so a little bit less power, 42 millimeter objective, so it's a little bit smaller, and still at 32.4 ounces. So you're not really saving a lot of weight, but I did wanna show that to you that there is that other option. So what if you didn't want to go all out and purchase a $2,500 binocular? You still want a good glass, you still want a good magnification. Like I said, there are options out there that don't co cost quite as much. Let's talk about a few of those. So I'm going to go through the Diamondback series that Vortex has. And just remember, Vortex is what we use, it's what we recommend. For the price point, they're really hard to beat, and I'll talk a little bit more about the warranty that comes along with Vortex. But whichever brand you enjoy or you favor, all of the brands are gonna have different levels, different options for you. So you don't have to go to the upper echelon and use the best of the best of the best. Um, you can use some of the mid-tier stuff and still get good quality stuff. So the Diamondback HD, still HD glass, which is, is fantastic. I'm not going to go into each and every one of these binoculars, but I wanted to show you that there's a lot of options. You can go extremely lightweight and get the Diamondback HD 8x28. I really recommend that one for kids. If you are purchasing some binoculars for your kids, those are fantastic. Super light still get good magnification with that eight power and then you know it's it's not gonna break the bank only ten dollars more you can get the 10 power another forty dollars you can you can get a little bit bigger objective so as you can see there are a lot of options let's go kind of the same options that i was looking at with the razor uhd series so the 10 by 42 you can get a diamondback hd 10 by 42 msrp 279.99 it may not have quite the glass quality that the uhds have but it's still really good glass at a, an amazing price point so if you're on a budget which most of us are that is a great option they also have the 10 by 50 for not that much more you know another 40 dollars more you can have that and then they also have this new diamondback hd 15 by 56 you can get a 15 power binocular 56 objective, so it captures all the light, HD glass, at a price point of M an MSRP of $474.99. You're gonna find that in stores around that 300, 350 range. So an amazing piece of glass for really cheap. So let's talk about which one's best for you. Well, a lot of it depends on what you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna use it on a tripod, doing a lot of glass, say you're a Western hunter, and you spend a lot of time behind glass, well, the 18 powers is really what you want. You can make it work to throw on your chest and use as your daily hiking binocular. It's not that bad. Like I said, it's a little bit heavier, 10 ounces heavier to be exact, but you can make it work on your chest. But if you're a Western hunter that's doing a lot of glassing, this is what you wanna get, a higher powered binocular. Again, you don't have to get the UHDs and spend $2,500. 
you can get the, the Diamondbacks or the Crossfires at a little bit lower price point. Still get that 15 power magnification. These are 18s, but you can still get the 15 power magnification in the Diamondback and still be able to see a long ways with HD glass. So I would recommend if you're looking a long ways, spend a lot of time behind glass with a tripod, this is the glass for you. If you're looking for something to do it all, the 10 by 42s or the 10 by 50s is really where I would recommend you go. These binoculars can be used on a tripod. Like I said, this is what I'd actually, I actually prefer using on a tripod and have done for years. I can see very well with it. I can see most everything. And then when I want to see the details, I can throw my spotting scope on and see the details. This is a great binocular. It fits in almost every single bino harness out there. It's lightweight, it's compact, really easy to use. Again, you get that UHD glass in it. You get great focus. This is just the be, the be all end all, if just kind of that all around binocular that will really do anything and everything that you want it to do. So fantastic binocular. Again, you don't have to go to the top price point. You don't have to go to the upper echelon of anybody's line. The UHD, the Vortex UHDs, UHDs, you don't have to go that high. Check out the Diamondbacks. Great line of, of binoculars. I'll put links below to these binoculars so that you can see them, see the actual price points, um, and actually go on. Read some more if you want, and also purchase them if you want. So for the all-around, multi-purpose, do-everything binocular, I would recommend a 10 by 42 or a 10 by 50 for most hunters out there. Like I said before, we are, we love Vortex. It's what we support and recommend to everybody for a lot of reasons. Vortex makes some really good high quality stuff. It's hard to beat their glass. Their UHD glass is absolutely amazing. They're rugged, they're cost effective, but the best thing about Vortex is the VIP warranty. You can't beat it, honestly. When you can run it over with a four wheeler, drop it off a cliff, Whatever the case may be, you can send it in, they'll fix it or replace it, no questions asked. So there's story after story out there about Vortex's VIP warranty. Honestly, I don't know why you'd choose anything else. So I hope this answers you guys' question about which binocular is best for you and which one you should buy. If you have any questions, let us know. In the comments below, if you would, just let us know which binocular works best for you. Let us know where you live and then which binocular you use. I'd love to see which one you guys like best. But thanks guys for supporting the channel and supporting eHunter.com. We'll see you on the next one.